Hi, good afternoon, everyone. I, my name is Thomas Hsu. I'm Executive Director at CyberCode uh, Private Limited. Um, just a little bit about myself. Um, I've uh, you know, uh, been in the financial services industry as well as the IT industry um, over the years, both in the private and uh, public sector. And um, you know, today I'd like to talk to you, uh, share with you um, a bit about CyberCode and what we do. Um, CyberCode is a company that has uh, 25 years of uh, history. Started in 1996, you know, just when the internet um, became commercialized, and uh, we've grown since to become a company that provides um, systems, solutions, and services targeted at the financial services industry. Um, these, uh, you know, solutions and services include uh, learning management systems, uh, cyber hygiene type of services, and you know, trading applications uh, for stock trading and so on. Um, both the front end as well as the back office systems for stockbrokers. Uh, building on our, you know, um, experience and knowledge in the financial services industry, we also run many courses um, accredited by Singapore's Institute of Banking and Finance. Uh, these courses are, you know, targeted at the financial services professionals as well as the investing public in general. Yeah, so today, um, CyberCode is started in Singapore, but today we are now in uh, eight countries in Asia, um, from Hong Kong, Japan, Thailand, Indonesia, Turkey, Vietnam, and Malaysia. So our footprint is growing, and uh, you know, as we follow our customers as well as um, you know, develop new markets for our systems and uh, solutions. Yeah. Well, our journey with uh, Huawei. Um, especially Huawei Cloud has been a very fruitful one. Um, we think it's a combination that you know can provide a lot of solutions uh, and benefits to our customers. Yeah, let me share with you why you know we took this uh, cloud journey together with Huawei. Well, you know, as with uh, many uh, companies, you know, um, we started off with on-premise uh, servers. Um, to run our systems, you know, run our, um, our, our services that we provide to our customers. And, you know, from on-prem as we grew, um, these services then got located at data centers, third-party data centers, um, where it became more convenient, you know, to, and also, you know, uh, probably less costly because, you know, our marketing offices are in downtown where the rents are higher whereas the data centers typically are in industrial areas where the rents are lower. But, you know, when cloud came along, we also started, um, you know, um, putting, um, testing it, you know, get our feet wet. Um, and very pleased to say that, you know, we have now moved completely over the cloud um, because the sheer convenience of, you know, being able to expand when you need to uh, on the cloud and don't have to worry about, you know, um, ordering servers and waiting for the lead times um, and then configuring those servers again and so on, right? So, and uh, we think also there's some cost savings, especially if, the, if you're starting a new service, you're starting a new product line or software as a service that we do a lot. If you're starting a new sort of a revenue, uh, a new business line, um, you don't have to go and buy a full set of servers, uh, so it's more costly. Uh, more costly, and with cloud, you know you can save on. You don't have to buy that server. You can just uh, start your service on the cloud. If it's successful, yeah, then you grow along with it, right? And um, with Huawei Cloud, especially the support is very good. It's very speedy. As we move from on-prem, right, uh, to the cloud, there's. The, uh, the support and the know-how from the Huawei team was instrumental in helping us to ensure a very uh, smooth uh, transition. And that in itself is a very important aspect of moving to the cloud because um, you hear a lot of stories where, you know, services get disrupted, um, you know, completely shut down sometimes. And if you're in the financial services industry or you're serving that industry, any disruptions can be um, can cause reputational damage and also cause uh, penalties from regulators. So it's, um, 
It cannot be underestimated that migration from on-prem to cloud, and we're very pleased to, to, to share here that, um, you know, working with Huawei and the tremendous support um, that they have, this has been, you know, a very smooth journey. And also, you know, with, um, um, especially as a vendor like us, with systems and solutions um, um, offered also on a software as a service basis, data security is very, very crucial now. I think um, practically every other day, we hear of um, instances, you know, where data is breached, uh, data is stolen, um, systems and firewalls are breached, um, malware attacks, ransomware, um, we hear a lot of it day to day, and it's a struggle really, you know, if you're with on-prem um, type of um, equipment, uh, to continue to keep up to date with data security. It's a running battle with, you know, the um, hackers and the, um, you know, the perpetrators of cybercrime. So with um, cloud, um, especially with Huawei cloud, the security aspect is well taken care of and that uh, reduces a lot of effort that we otherwise would have to put in, you know, to ensure that our data security keep up um, with the evolving uh, attacks. Um, so, just to um, give you an idea of um, some of the products that, and services that we run, like for instance, this is our le learning management system, um, we offer this on the cloud uh, software as a service where you know a lot of our customers who are financial services professionals they can go on and you know do their online learning without having to leave their office or their home uh, in, in especially in this uh, work from home uh, you know environment that we are in right now so they can do it in the comfort of their home without having to commute and be able to clock in the necessary hours on the training that is regulated, uh, reg uh, required of them by regulations. Um, and it's very convenient also, especially for customers where, you know, traveling um, takes time and, you know, you deal with uh, jams, traffic and all that. So um, this uh, learning management system is very useful for that. Yeah. And, uh, just uh, after you log in, you know, these are, this is uh, basically a list of all the courses that are available and it's an evolving one. So we offer this as a service to many of our customers in the financial services industry. Let me talk a little bit about cybersecurity. I think I mentioned earlier on that, you know, cybersecurity is a really a running battle with the perpetrators of cybercrime, unfortunately. And we don't think, you know, it's going to stop any time. Um, every time you have a solution, um, you know, the criminal um, cyber gangs will try and break it and find loopholes in your systems all the time. And uh, so we ourselves also provide, you know, cybersecurity services like vulnerability assessments. We, you know, help to assess how secure, you know, your systems are and where the, uh, and we do penetration tests to try and, you know, break into your systems. Uh, and if we find any gaps uh, in the system's uh, security firewalls, um, then we will be able to report it and our customers will be able to, you know, patch it up uh, and make sure that, uh, you know, they, it is not, no longer vulnerable. So essentially we are, um, you know, providing a service whereby we try to find the weaknesses and the gaps in your security, in your system before the you know, um, the hacker does, right? And, and today, um, I think many of us have received uh, phishing emails, um, you know, masquerading as, you know, your, uh, either your boss or your colleague or someone, you know, offering you, um, uh, telling you that you've won some um, lottery or something. And when you click on a link or an attachment, lo and behold, you know, you're letting in a malware which um, could lock up, you know, your whole PC and will still go into your company's network and lock up the network. Um, and then typically these hackers will ask for a ransom. Um, hence it is called ransomware. So we also provide services where we, you know, simulate these type of um, phishing attacks. Um, sending emails and all that to train our customers 
um, you know, uh, users and employees um, so that they are aware um, when they next actually you know, receive a real phishing email, um, they would, the chances of them clicking on it would be you know, reduced substantially. All right. So, and some of these uh, are also culminated in a you know course that we run also um, based on our knowledge. We run a course also on you know um, ethical hacking, meaning that you know what we do as a penetration tester, we try and teach it to also some of our customers, especially the IT people, and we run uh, this course uh, called Cyber uh, Certified Ethical Hacker. Um, which is 95%, um, you know, subsidized by um, the Institute of Banking and Finance for financial services institutions, employees of financial services institutions. You know, having heard from me about, you know, um, how we, uh, uh, some of our products and services, I like to summarize by saying that, you know, our collaboration with Huawei Cloud, um, you know, gives us a lot of um, opportunities um, to be able to offer our software as a service, um, you know, to our customers and uh, be able to scale it up, you know, without having to really worry about the infrastructure and so on because, you know, we can tap on uh, Huawei Cloud's infrastructure and we can then scale up beyond Singapore to many of the countries that we already have a footprint in. And um, today, you know, I'm very pleased uh, to be able to offer you you know, a promotion for the Huawei Cloud service, um, you know, that we are working with Huawei on. Um, so, we also have a promotion um, on our cybersecurity services. Um, so, please, um, you know, scan the QR code if you'd like to know more and it will take you to, you know, our website where you'll be, you, you'll be able to see more of the details. And, um, you know, me and my colleagues will be happy you know, to talk to you some more if you have uh, more questions regarding you know, any of these services. We'd like to thank you very much um, for, you know, spending time uh, listening to me over the last uh, few minutes and uh, wish you a good day ahead. Thank you.